For the poor lighting but today I'm going to be sharing with you our first experience taking the Orlando Brightline. We had such a great time and I figured I would share some of that experience with you today. All right let's go. So we arrived to the Brightline train terminal around 5 a.m. Our train was departing Orlando at 5.50. So we arrived bright and early and the terminal was just so beautiful. I mean, just look at it. It is such a beautiful, beautiful station. And over here you can see the Mary Mary bar and cafe. It was incredible. They had pretty good food. We got a little bit of breakfast from there, um, just some gluten-free bagels, but it was so delicious. And you can see the board here, our 550 train would be departing soon. Um, one thing that I really did appreciate and enjoy about the Bright Line is that kids between the age of two to 12 ride for 50% off. So I thought that was pretty great. and. We took the smart fare and on our way down, we had the table seating. It kind of like, um, you know, like the bar seating, uh, but it was great. We really enjoyed this type of seating setup. On the way back to Orlando, we had the, um, you know, two chairs and the drop down trays. I think I highly enjoyed the other seating, the table seating. And here we are in the bathroom. It was so spacious in here. They had a drop down table where you can change babies if you need to. And the bathroom was just large and it was super clean. Hey. <laughs> so yeah. This bathroom was a pretty nice change and a big level up because my daughter and I are normally used to taking like a charter bus to go down to South Florida. So this is a pretty big and clean bathroom compared to something that you would see on a small charter bus but anyway here i am showing you some of the views from our window going down to we went to palm beach um on our first ride down so we went from orlando to palm beach and so this was pretty nice to see you know the water and um, see some of the views and scenes going down to south florida the views while we were on the train mainly consisted of some palm trees and boats and just everything that you would imagine when you're going down to South Florida. This is my hometown, so it just feels amazing seeing it. Um, you know, it's a great feeling to be able to see all the scenic views that you're used to. So anyway, I'll let you guys enjoy a little bit of those views. So here we are arriving to West Palm. And one thing I will say when you do arrive to your destination is to be ready. Have all your stuff gathered because you have two minutes to get all your things and get off that train. But this is the train station over in West Palm. It's pretty nice when we walk through the lobby. This is the... Um, I don't know what do you call it like a tarmac where you get off of the train i don't know <laughs> um, but yeah we didn't really get to stay in this lounge for too long uh, we kind of just passed through because we were meeting with my mom uh, so we went through really quickly so even though we didn't stay in the west palm uh, lounge for very long one thing i must say is that 
all of these lounges are just so beautiful. The one in Palm Beach, and then here we are in Fort Lauderdale. We spent the most time in the Fort Lauderdale Smart Lounge, and I will have to say, it felt like the coziest one. <laughs> it was just so relaxing, and maybe the day that we went, there really weren't that many people in the lounge, so we got to really relax. And over there is that premium lounge. Um, we had the smart fair, so we didn't go in the pre premium lounge. But here I'm trying to show you guys the menu of what they had available at the train station. But yeah, so here we are waiting for our train. And one thing I must say is make sure that you're waiting at the correct, um, I guess, track. Uh, we were waiting at track two, but our smart um, our smart pass was actually our tickets were supposed to be at track one, so which was on the complete other side <laughs> of this area. So when we were boarding, we had to pretty much hightail it <laughs> to get on the train on time. But anyway, we did make it, and here we are. I'm just showing you guys some of the outlets that are available on the train. One thing I will have to say about this is, is that the placement of these outlets felt a little awkward to me. But it is convenient to have these extra outlets, so I don't know, take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so it's actually been a couple of months now since we um, had our first experience on the Bright Line. And I realized I never made like a outro to the video um, and my final thoughts on the Florida Bright Line. So I wanted to just get back on here and tell you guys that, yeah, we really did enjoy our first um, experience on the Bright Line and I would absolutely take it again. Um, so I actually have plans for us to go back down to South Florida in the summer and we'll more than likely take the Bright Line again. Um, one thing that I absolutely loved about the Bright Line that I didn't really get to touch on is that they have um, the employees that work there come down through each um, each uh, down the aisles while you're there um, to go ahead and provide like snacks and drinks and things like that. Um, when you're in the smart seating, those um, snacks and beverages you do have to pay for them. I think when you're in the like the more luxury seating, those are free, but I'm not 100% positive. I have to look into that again, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and I also love the internet speed on the Brightline. Their Wi-Fi is extremely fast. There was no lag to it at all, which was amazing. Um, so if you have kiddos riding with you and they have their tablets or, you know, whatever it is that your kids use, um, yeah, they can connect and the internet speed wouldn't, wouldn't drop on them or anything like that. Um, what else is I wanted to talk about with the bright line? Um, yeah, it was honestly just a great experience. Um, the only thing that I thought was a little awkward, um, when we were coming on our ride back to Orlando, we had the um, two-person seating, not the table booth seating. Um, and I felt like the outlet placement in that seating was just a little awkward for for our chargers. We don't have iPhones. I think that the chargers, the way that they're set up, are more set up for that tiny square <clears throat> charger like the, the iPhones have and it might be a little bit easier to charge your devices in that type of seating. And we did prefer the booth seating that we had in the beginning of our trip. But yeah, anyway, you guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for um, clicking on this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.